Ebola virus disease, EVD, known as Ebola hemorrhagic fever, is a severe and often deadly illness in humans. Mortality rates can go from 25 up to 90%. The virus is transmitted to people from wild animals and spreads in the human population through human-to-human -human transmission. Ebola virus disease first appeared in 1976 in two simultaneous outbreaks, one in Sudan and the other in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The latter occurred in a village near the Ebola River, from which the disease takes its name. Ebola is introduced into the human population through close contact with blood, secretions, organs or other body fluids of infected animals such as chimpanzees, gorillas, monkeys, forest antelope and porcupines found ill or dead in the rainforest. Ebola then spreads through human-to-human -human transmission via direct contact, through broken skin or mucous membranes, with blood, secretions, organs or other body fluids of infected people, and with surfaces and material, such as bedding, clothing, contaminated with these fluids. Healthcare workers have frequently been infected while treating patients with suspected or confirmed EVD. This has occurred through close contact with patients when infection control precautions are not strictly practiced. Burial ceremonies in which people have direct contact with the body of deceased person can also play a role in the transmission of Ebola. People remain infectious as long as their blood and body fluids, including semen and breast milk, contain the virus. Men who have recovered from the disease can still transmit the virus through their semen for up to seven weeks after recovery from illness. Healthcare workers should always take standard precautions when caring for patients, regardless of their presumed diagnosis. These include basic hand hygiene, use of personal protective equipment to block splashes or other contact with infected materials, safe injection practices and safe burial practices. Healthcare workers caring for patients with suspected or confirmed Ebola virus should apply extra infection control measures to prevent contact with the patient's blood and body fluids and contaminated surfaces or materials such as clothing and bedding. When in close contact of patients with EBV, healthcare workers should wear face protection, a face shield or a medical mask and glasses, non-sterile long-sleeved gown and sterile gloves for some procedures. Lab workers are also at risk. Samples taken from humans and animals for investigation of Ebola infection should be handled by trained staff and accurate equipment. The incubation period, meaning the time from infection with the virus to onset of symptoms, is 2 to 21 days. 
humans are not infectious until they develop symptoms. First symptoms are the sudden onset of fever fatigue, muscle pain, headache and sore throat. This is followed by vomiting, diarrhea, rash, symptoms of kidney or liver malfunction and in some cases both internal and external bleeding. It can be difficult to distinguish EVD from other infectious diseases such as malaria, typhoid fever and meningitis. Samples from patients are an extreme biological risk. Lab tests on active samples should be managed under maximum biological containment conditions. Ebola risk can be reduced by reducing the risk of wildlife to human transmission from contact with infected bats, monkeys or apes and consumption of their meat. Animals should be handled with gloves and other appropriate protective clothing. Animal products, blood and meat should be cooked before consumption. Reducing the risk of human-to-human -human transmission from direct or close contact with people with Ebola symptoms, particularly with their body fluids. Gloves and appropriate personal protective equipment should be worn when taking care of ill patients at home. Regular hand washing is required after visiting patients in hospital, as well as after taking care of patients at home. Outbreak containment measures including prompt and safe burial of the dead, identifying people who may have been in contact with someone infected with Ebola, monitoring the health of contact for 21 days, the importance of separating the healthy from the sick to prevent further spread, the importance of good hygiene and maintaining a clean environment.